Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pal Picks Edition. By the way, if you're people have been asking me, actually, I got a letter here from Ava Bertichinak. Ava Bertichinak. Hopefully, I said that right. From Potosi, Potosi, Bolivia. Thank you, Ava. Uh, she asks, are you going to be doing your annual awards video and playoff predictions? Yes. Yes, I am. In fact, we already got started. You can check out my uh, latest for the Adams and the Vesna in there already. We did it with the Steel Flyers crew. Freaking awesome. Check it out. It's really good. Yeah, we're going to be doing it. We actually just did one for the Hart and the uh, Rookie of the Year, Calder. So that will be posting that on probably tomorrow, which is the 12th, May 12th. I'll be posting that tomorrow. And <laughs> she also asked, um, Oh, oh, uh, where, how can I get, uh, can I get, if I go to Canada, can, can I get a free stay at Perlo's house of spanking? And, um, we can work on that. You give us a, we'll see if we can do that for you. Yeah. If you come to Canada from Bolivia, I think we can work that out one free day, but I promise you. You, you'll you'll be back there the next day paying your hard-earned money because it's that spectacular. I don't know if Chinky, uh, if, uh, Chinky uh, will be okay with uh, giving you some Pilates or uh, ho at her house of yoga. I'm not sure about that. I'd have to ask her that. But I'll, I'll hook you up. Sure. Why not? Well, we only had two games. I'm going to be giving you a uh, some picks today. Yes, give you all the picks in the land for the 12th. We did. And then after that, we'll talk about the two games that happened this evening, which we did really well on, I must say. Uh, you guys, if you're picking my picks, you should be making some money. Tell me about it in the comment section if you are. Or just tell me what you're picking or whatever. Um, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of picks videos there. And I just did my... Oh, go ch you might want to check out the last... Uh, live show I did, stream that I did from three to five, five days a week. I do a live stream about picks and hockey and everything there is to do. And I had a dare that I had to do, and it's in the stream. Go check it out. I have to do it for a month because somebody won the picks for last month, and that was what they get. That was their reward is they get to dare me to do something. So you might want to check that out. Okay, Ava, thanks for your letters, and send you send me your letters. Every day, Guido goes down to the mailroom, and uh, he gets a sack of letters, and he comes up, and we pour them all over the letter table. He just comes up like that. That's what he looks like. He's got a funny smile. And we do the Perlo dance around the table. That's Helen and everybody. Helen, who's the one that stitches your Pearls of Wisdom necklaces when you subscribe to the channel. Which you're doing right now, yeah, like that. And we do the Perlo dance, and we all and we get all we're so much frolic, and we read them all. So send them, send your letters. Okay, let's get to our games for the twelfth, shall we? All right, five games we have on the card. Is it five? Yes, one, two, three, four, five games we have on the card. Now, a few things I want to talk about about these games. Um, you might want, this is a really good time to become a Patreon member because things change a lot in a day like this. I will be giving updates probably all day tomorrow on who's going to be in the lineup, what goaltender is going to play, all of those sort of things like that. Um, because it's the last game of the season pretty much for most of these guys. I think there might be one more for some. 
and they're going to rest players and we don't know who they're going to be. They don't like to tell you. So you, I posted up there like today, for instance, uh, Washington Capitals were going to, uh, or Boston Bruins were going to sit half their lineup. So I said, take Washington ML. And also, well, we'll talk about that when we get to the picks. I don't want to tell you all of it. We'll wait till then. So we got Edmonton versus Montreal. I'm pretty sure they're going to play Koskin in here. I am not a big fan of this game. Montreal haven't been able to play very well. Um, I'm going to, I, I got Oilers ML, but I'm really not sure. I don't know if Montreal, how many players Montreal is going to sit for this game. Uh, or Edmonton for that matter. But with Koskin in the net and probably Allen, I think they'll keep on playing McDavid. I really do. I don't think they're going to sit McDavid or Dries. I think they're going to keep on allowing them to get their uh, points for the season. Um, and McDavid hates to sit. So I'm going to take the Oilers ML and I'm going to take over six. Because I think they're going to have to, if they play Koskinen, they may have to outscore Montreal, even if Montreal only gets like 12 shots. Because Koskinen will let in four. So they'll have to win 5-4. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not putting heavy on this game, though. It could go either way. Uh, Toronto versus Ottawa. Now, Anderson is going to be in for the Toronto Maple Leafs. What does that mean? I'm not sure. He obviously must be healthy. He was struggling before he got started, before he went on injury. But it was it just the injury? Is he going to be rusty? Um, is Who's Toronto going to play? Are they going to play Matthews? Probably. Let him keep on scoring goals there. Um, but I'm going to go with the under six and a half. Because I just don't think there's going to be a lot of motivation here to score a lot. I am on the fence. I had Ottawa, but I'm not sure. Because Ottawa really doesn't want to win this game. Or they shouldn't. It's hard to tell the players that. But if they win this game, and as we get down here lower, uh, Los Angeles and San Jose lose, they lose three draft positions. So I don't know if that's going to weigh on them or not. It's a really tough game. I think the best bet here possibly is to go the spread. My inkling is, is that they're not going to think about draft position. Ottawa is going to keep the ball rolling. They've been playing extremely well. Gustafsson for Ottawa has been playing really well. And there's a good possibility that Anderson could be a little rusty here. I'm going to take Ottawa. And I'm going to say Toronto doesn't really have it in them this game and they're going to sit a lot of guys so and Ottawa won't so I'm going to take Ottawa puck line for 174 somewhere around there that's what I've decided <clears throat> I'm going to take under six and a half because I just don't think that there's going to be a lot of motivation for Toronto to be running gunning with Ottawa in this game and uh Six and a half is a high over for a game like this. So I'm going to go under six and a half. Minnesota versus St. Louis. Um, again, these who are they going to sit? I'm going to have to take... How many players are they going to sit here? Apparently Talbot is in net for Minnesota. So to, that tells me that Minnesota wants to win this game. They want to put their stamp... On this, keep on putting their stamp on the season. I love Dean Evison as a coach, and I think he understands that. I don't. I am not one that uh, goes this sit your player route and stuff like that. I think we. I, I. I like. I think the psychology of the game to win every game under every circumstance is a more a of a uh, playoff success mentality to be in, and I think he's going with that here by putting Talbot in. Uh, so I'm going to go Minnesota ML, um, and I'm going to go over five and a half. Where did I? Have? I had under five and a half. Why did I have under five and a half? 
Okay, under five and a half. I can't, I can't remember why. Oh, I know why. Because, again, it's not a huge game. They're probably going to play a very defensive style. That's what it was. They're getting ready for playoff type hockey, so they could be playing very defensive hockey. That's why. San Jose versus Vegas. Um, I don't know how many. I don't know who's who they're going to be sitting. Uh, this is really tough. I think San Jose puck line might be the best to try here. And under one point nine five. Coronar is or Coronar is going to be in net for San Jose. He's played very well. How much is Vegas going to have in them? Are, are they really going to be focused on winning this game? I, I'm not sure. And I think they could sit some guys. So that's why I'm going the under here. Um, under six San Jose puck line there, I said it. That's it, These are tough. It's the last few games of the season. I find it's best to take the dog on the PL because it usually is close. And, uh, you know, San Jose is going to have guys that are playing for jobs next year. They're not going to come out and just fly through the night here. Like, they're going to want to – a lot of these these players that are going to be in the lineup are going to be proving themselves. So, um, same as Ottawa. That's why I like that for Toronto. They've got – there's players here that are playing to get contracts to be able to uh, make the team next year or to show off to get picked up by Seattle just to play in the NHL, period. It's uh, So there's a lot of motivation. As you can tell, Ottawa hit it, has been winning a lot down the stretch, which tells me that they're not too worried about getting that draft pick. They're worried about getting a winning attitude, and I like that. So... Big game, I thought that's the reason why. And San Jose as well with Vegas. Uh, Los Angeles, Colorado. Now, here for some reason, I think Colorado wins this. Um, I just think Colorado's been a little bit shaky and want to end this on, on a good note. Um, so I have a feeling Colorado, and I believe Grubauer is going to be in net for Colorado here. So I'm going to take Colorado, and I'm going to take the over here at 191. Um, I got Colorado in reg, by the way. It's, oh. Yeah, over five and a half. Okay, that's my full 42. This has been, as you can tell, I'm hesitant on these picks. So if you like to have fun and stuff like that, make these picks and go with them. And, st and But last games of the season are a little difficult. Uh, also... Go over to Patreon, start, sign yourself up. I'll give you a free month, and I'll be giving updates all day tomorrow on my Patreon for my Patreon subscribers. All right, I'm gonna we'll go look at uh, the picks for we'll our picks from last night, and we'll I'll kind of describe to you why I picked what I picked. We nailed them. Oh, did we nail them? Okay, I didn't even know what the final here was, but. We had Capitals money line because the Bruins sat all their players and the under because Swayman was in net. So my thinking was that Bruins don't won't have enough firepower in their lineup to score even with Vanacek in. They're also on a back to back, so they'll be tired and motivation isn't at its peak because it's a like second to last or last game of the season. I can't remember what it is for Boston, and the. They've already made the playoffs, and they've already set themselves up for a match with Washington. So we got it in like 0.3 seconds left to, to the Capitals beat the Blues. Uh, so we got the under for, and I had Capitals for large. I changed it to large. It was one unit on the Capitals or one pearl on the Capitals, but when I found out the Bruins were sitting half their lineup, their regular lineup, I changed it to large, and we had medium on the under. So what, did we, what were we up? Uh, 35 units. This would have put us up about another two and a half. No, large to almost three units. 
three units pretty much. So we're up to 38 units for the season. And here we have again, I had the Jets ML and the under for a unit which we made just under two units. So we're like 37 units up for the season. That's pretty darn good, boys and girls. You ask people, ask around, 37 units. <laughs> Uh, on a season like this is pretty good. So, well, we nailed any of these, like every single one of them. Should have parlayed those. Huh? Huh. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be back tomorrow to do whatever games we have tomorrow. Highly recommend you check out my show, Pearl, the NHL Pearls of Wisdom show, 3 to 5 Eastern, uh, five days a week. And uh, it's a blast. You'll enjoy it. And I would love to have you. Remember to comment down there in the comment section. We'd like to have a good chat there in the comment section oh here I, I had it askew you guys couldn't even see what i was doing okay uh it was the jets versus canucks and the capitals versus should really go over and fix that for you so you can see it but oh well have a great day everybody okay bye